are your energy levels doing? Do you have loads and loads of energy? Are you trying to lose some weight and you're really struggling? Well, it could be due to this, and maybe it's something that you've never heard about before. It's called deuterium. Now, what is deuterium? Deuterium is hydrogen, but it's heavy hydrogen. It is an isotope of hydrogen. If you remember back from grade nine science class, it means that it has an extra neutron compared to that regular hydrogen, making it heavier. And this is something that can slow down. So when we have too much deuterium in our system, it can slow down our proper energy production. Now we have these little organelles. If you remember again from science class, they're called mitochondria. They're the powerhouse of the cell. They produce that energy. And if you're not making enough of that vital energy, that can actually slow down your overall metabolism, cause you to be very tired. It can lead to weight gain, especially fat gain as well in a bad way. And it's something that we definitely want to maintain those healthy nanomotors in our mitochondria. There are a lot of mitochondrial diseases out there which can be related back to that high deuterium. And this is why certain foods are higher in deuterium that if we're not under enough natural sunlight exposure, which is something I talk a lot about in my videos, we can't deplete that deuterium. So we do need some deuterium, but not too much of it. And we need that sunlight to be able to create our own deuterium depleted water in our cells. And this is what actually runs our metabolism. And that's why it is partially related back to that fat gain if you have too much deuterium. Now, you may be curious, okay, which foods are higher in that deuterium? Well, I do want you to check out my list of foods high in deuterium. I'll see you there.